everyone, I'm Nancy. Today, I'm gonna read the chapter Monday and Tuesday of the book named um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid 1. Let's start. Monday. You know how I said I play all sorts of pranks on Rolly? Well, I have a little brother named Manny and I could never get away with pulling any of that stuff on him. Mom and Dad protect Manny like he's a prince or something, and he never gets in trouble even if he really deserves it. Yesterday, Manny drew a self-portrait on my bedroom door in permanent marker. I thought Mom and Dad were really going to let him have it, but... As usual, I was wrong. But the thing that bugs me the most about Manny is the nickname he has for me. When he was a baby, he couldn't pronounce brother, so he started calling me Bobby. What? And he still calls me that now. Even though I keep trying to get mom and dad to make him stop. Luckily, none of my friends have found out yet but believe me i have had some really cold close calls on my birthday there is a present that from manny and one of my friends read it hey this one says it's to bubby must be a mistake i threw it away Mom makes me help Manny get ready for school in the morning. After I make Manny his breakfast, he carries his cereal bowl into the family room and sits on his plastic potty. C is for cookie and cookie is for me. That is the voice on the TV. And when it's time for him to go to daycare, he gets up and dumped whatever he didn't eat right in the toilet. Mom is always getting on me about not finishing my breakfast. But if she had to scrape cornflakes out of the bottom of a plastic potty every morning, she wouldn't have much of an appetite either. Tuesday I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am super good at video games. I'll bet I could beat anyone in my grade head to head. Unfortunately, Dad does not exactly appreciate my skills. He's always getting on me about going out and doing something active. So tonight, after dinner, when Dad started hassling me about going outside, I tried to explain how with video games, you can play sports like football and soccer, and you don't even get all hot and sweaty. But as usual, Dad didn't see my logic. Dad is pretty smart guy in general, but when it comes to common sense, sometimes I wonder about him. I'm sure Dad would dismantle my game item if he could figure out how to do it. But luckily, the people who make these things make them parent-proof. Dad can have these fancy gadgets. Every time Dad kicks me out of the house to do something sporty, I just go up to Rollies and play my video games there. Unfortunately, the only games I can play at Rollies are car racing games and stuff like that. Because whenever I bring a game up to Rollies' house, his dad looks it up on some parents' website. And if my game has any kind of fighting or violence in it, he won't let us play. Hmm. I'm getting a little sick of playing Formula 1 racing with Rolly.
because he is not a serious gamer like me. All that you have to do to beat Rolly is name your car something ridiculous at the beginning of the car. No, the game. At the beginning of the game. And then when you pass Rolly's car, he just falls into pieces. Bwah! Anyway, after I got done mopping the floor with Rolly today, I headed home. I ran through the neighbor's sprinkle a, a couple times to make it look like I was all sweaty, and that seemed to do the trick for Dad. Whew! But my trick kind of backfired because as soon as Mom saw me, he made he made me go upstairs and take a shower. So that is the end of the chapter Monday and Tuesday of the book named Diary of a Wimpy Kid One. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful night and a wonderful dream. Goodbye, everyone.